I don't understand. We don't understand. Does it mean that our chief denies us the right of seeding? The lizard's love for the crack house does not make her the owner of the house. Ezemo, just like the lizard, I will keep nodding. I will keep nodding till the owner of the house notices my presence. Your Highness. You have cried enough. And the gods have seen the sorrow in your heart. Why me? Jide, why me? Why has the gods denied me the right? to bear seed for my husband. The man that I have loved all my life. I thought that the gods knows and sees everything. They should know that I am pure before my husband and before Oburu, the Chiyomomo. No man has ever seen my nakedness. Neither did I break my flower before gracing my husband's bed. Yet, they deny me the right due for purity. 
I, I do not see it so, Your Highness. <laughs> Didn't you hear the words of our Junko, the High Priest? Didn't you hear it? Those are his words. A man has the right to speak their mind. Even that which the gods put in them. Your Highness, you can strongly believe in the gods for positive change. You can change their mind. Please, keep faith on the gods, just as I'm doing. <laughs> Your Highness, please stop crying. <laughs> Please stop crying, Your Highness. <laughs> Your Highness is okay. My King. How is she? My king, she's in her heart. Oh, my king. I believe she may need you by her side. If you're not busy, I recommend you go see her.
Your Majesty. Is it true that Ajunku the Great said that Mumachi will never give you a seed? But Ajunku only told us a riddle. Nothing more. Is it not that same riddle when interpreted point to the fact that Mumachi is not capable of seeding? Don't you ever use such word in my palace, Ichie. Never ever call Machi such a word. Never ever Machi will be a seat for me. Uh, Your Highness, that is not what he means. We are. Uh, what does he mean, Ichi Agama? Are... What does he mean? Enlighten me. Maybe I'm a fool now. Ndichi, I understand your concern. But never, ever, any of you call Machi a barren woman. Because mm. I strongly believe that Oboro, the Chiyomumu, will grace her very soon with a seed. Mm. But when? Uh, 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 <clears throat> Your Highness, our people say that when a child cries and point to a place. If the father is not there, the mother must be there. Mm. Of course, he Season has passed since you both got married. Yet, we have not had a cry of a child from her door. And you are not getting any younger, Igwe. You must have a child that will succeed you mm. when you must have joined your ancestors. Your Highness. Mm -hmm. Where's Your Highness? It looks like Machi cannot provide you a son. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm. A vulture who sees that she kills mm. whatever she is, but her, she denies her the right. No, no I am enough. enough. Oh, oh, oh. This meeting is over. You may leave my palace now. Young. Awesome. I say leave. No, no. God. Highness. Uh, 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 Once again. Ewo. Once again. But why would the Igwe do such a thing? Why? Why would they send the Indie Chairs away just because they told him the truth? Ah. Looking at Igwe's affection towards the Queen, sometimes I wonder if Igwe is in his clear sense of mind. Clear sense of mind? How? Can't you see? Or don't you see how he adores the Queen? Even when she has not conceived, not to speak of losing it. Why would she conceive? When the ghost has already likened her to a lizard that loves the crack house. <laughs> Why? In that, I agree with you. But treating the Indie the way he did today, that's very wrong of him. Ma'am, this is the exact thing I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Why will his royal highness, why will he just, why will he do such a thing? Why are you royal maidens of this palace speaking ill of your lords? Even when the king and the queen has been so kind to you all. Tell that to the queen the day she overhears you with this kind of conversation. And now leave and return back to your duties. Hello. Mm -hmm. 
shouldn't have walked the elders out the way you did. They were right. My chi has denied me the right of conceiving. No, no, don't ever say that again. Never you say that. Oboro de Chi Omomu will never forget you. You were pure when our union was blessed at the shrine of Ulodi. So I do not believe whatever Ajunko has to say, nor the elders. You are not the lizard that lost to live by the crack wall. You are the owner of the house. I know, my love. I know. But the cap is too heavy for me to wear. Oh, boy, the goddess of fertility and children is, is taking too long in remembering me. And the people need an heir to the throne. Umuakoli may say what they choose. Ajunku could decide what he wants to say. The elders can say what they may. But you still remain, my lady, the one I love. Ma. My own Umma. I could do. Ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come in. Come in. Is the queen awake? Yes. We saw her seated outside her hut. We want to go get her water to wash her face and feet. The queen is up so early. Why? She looks like she's crying. Why are you up so early? Sleep has eluded my eyes, for my chief has deserted me. I long to be gathered to my ancestors, because each breaking of the day, I bring nothing but shame and disgrace to my husband, the king. <laughs> my queen. Speak no such word, for it is too early to behold such an ill word from the mother of Umakoli Kingdom. Jide, Jide, how dare you mock me? How dare you mock me by calling me the mother of this kingdom when my womb is yet to test a seed? Will my queen journey with me? See Abongwa. Perchance, she might be the solution. Where is our mama?
happy with the grace of God. Yes, she's a dry land. That seed of human can never be cultivated. I hate her so much. Please, let's go. Barren witch. Is my queen still in the bed? No, your highness. The queen left the palace with Injida this morning. Left the palace? Yes, your highness. Did she tell you where she was going? They didn't say my king. Continue. I thought Injide told us to lie to the king. And who is Injide to tell me to lie to the king? Eh? What if he finds out? Then I'll be the one to be punished. Because I believe the king will not touch her because he favors her a lot. Well, I would have told the king the truth myself if you would have tried to lie to him. If you lie, tell him. I'm not there. Izu! Izu! You're wasting our time I'm going to leave you. What is it? This element Izu is keeping us waiting. This is one thing I hate about Izu. Izu is always struggling like snail. Izu. Izu. Have you seen? This is one thing I hate about him. This is one thing I hate about him. Anytime we are out here to fetch firewood, that is what he keeps doing. Great is your hands. What's the meaning of that? Why do you guys, why do you people do that? Why do you do that? And why would you bow to a man that feed our king with the wine of foolishness that he no longer respect our land and eat elder? Now, okay, I say. You now blame the queen for the king's action in sending the elders away the other day. You now blame her? Yes, she is the cause of everything. She is the cause of everything happening in this community. Tell him. Now listen. Listen and listen very good. I will not be a part to this blasphemy. See, we can go. I wish the gods can grant us one favor. If they can change her as our queen, we can go. Shotuma, give me your hand and that which belongs to your husband. Akuna! What did you see, wise one? Silent. You do not speak for her. Wise one, please talk to me. Your stare is scaring me. I feel pity for you, my daughter. The gods has indeed denied you your right to bear seed for the king, but that of another. Why is one I don't understand? Let me tell you them. We cannot sit back here mourning over the king's insult. Why the problem of this land is still there untouched? Mm. Hey, what do you now suggest we should do? To go back there and receive another insult again? For what? <laughs> mm. 
You all got me wrong. I never say so. Then what are you yeah. saying? What are you insinuating? We shall go back there and let the king know that the tradition of this land demands that when a sitting king fails to have an heir to succeed him, if he becomes 50, automatically the throne will be taken away from him and be given to whomever the gods may choose. Yes. But I think the demand is useless. Mm. Because 50 years is such a long time mm. for the king to have a rethink. M marry another wife that you bear him a son. Thank That's you, Ishi Agama. You spoke well, you spoke well. If the king meets another maiden, she will conceive. That goes for you, my daughter. If you live with another man, you will also conceive. Just as the water splashes on the earth, so as Akuna said, scattered when the calabash of oats was broken. Where is one? What calabash? Leave us. Make hurry and leave the king or make him take another pride nothing will ever make you bear a child Fakuna no no why me why would the gods of my chi treat me like this to the man that I love why you may now go my daughter I'm not going anywhere, wise one. Answer me! What have I done? What did I do to deserve this? Answer me! You may go! Go! It was we, Ndiche, that made the law. We can seek have it amended. Ah. I suggest we have to go and see the first and hear what he has to say. That is exactly what I'm saying. Let us go and see him first. Yes. What is the name of this Pigrida and Higrid? Mm -hmm. There is no problem in going to see him. But if he turns us down again, then we will invite Ajo. Since she returned, she has refused to come out of her hut. And she has refused to eat her food. Imagine, open this door. Go away, I want to be left alone. Why? Why would I go away? We have always shared our pains. We have always shared our sorrow. We are going to share this together, Machi. Both of you do not leave your spot until she comes out. Yes, Your Highness. And make sure her food is ready whenever she's hungry. Yes, Your Highness. Tell him I want to see her.
Jidi, why did you take my wife to this morning? Your Highness, we went to see Abongwa, the great sea of fertility. Why did you take her there without my permission? Your Highness, I'm sorry. I only acted out of pity. I saw the Queen early this morning up and sorrowing, uh, even before the third crow. So I felt she needed comfort. Did she get it? Comfort? Did she get the comfort? What did that old woman tell my wife? She hasn't eaten nor drank anything all day. Since she returned, she has not said a word. What did Aboma tell my wife? Most of their discussion, I was outside. The only thing I heard her said was the broken calabash of oath. The broken calabash? What does that mean? Your Highness, the elders are waiting for you at the chamber. Elders, I, I want to apologize for what happened in, the, in this palace last time. I'm very sorry about it, okay? No problem. No problem. Your Highness, may you live long. Thank you. We are not here to dwell on the past, but to look at what the future holds for us in this kingdom. That's okay. We all know that Ajonko said the very mind of the gods. At least he has said something concerning the queen. And that is why we, the elders of this kingdom, are here mm. to know what your plan is. How do you mean plan is? Plans how? Yes, Your Highness. Uh, we want to know if you want to get another wife that will give you an heir to the throne or you still want to stick to Masinachi. That's why we are here. Yes. Mm. So you elders converged to ask me if I'm taking another wife, right? Yes, sir. Well, if that is what the plan you are talking about, it's all about. There, there's no plan whatsoever. Ah! Hey, well. No woman will I ever call wife except Machi. Mm. So don't even think about it. Your Highness. Should we serve you food, Your Highness? Where is your highness? He should be in the throne chamber. Um, your highness, you know very well that we have a tradition in this land that it demands when a king becomes 50 of age without a child, he will relinquish the throne. Yes, I'm aware of the tradition. But Ndichi, I must ask you one question. Am I 50 years now? No, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. Am I 50 yet? I still have a long time to wait with my machi. Who wait on the gods. They will sure bless us with a seed. Your Highness, we made the tradition and we are going to summon Amadioha, the God of peace. We are going to summon Oporu, 
the goddess of fertility and children. Ani, the ancient deity of the earth. Adosebuloa, the almighty creator to reduce the age to 45. What it, insolence? Since you do not want to leave the maiden, the cost maiden, you call the wife. Yes, yes, yes. 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 You, you dare call. I feel pity for the queen, mm. but we have made our intentions known. Mm. Ichie, you do not have to pee, feel pity for her. If she had not bewitched Akuma and made him to reject all the maidens, beautiful maidens that late Igwe presented to him by the late Igwe, his father, all these things would not have happened. Mm. My fellow elders, are we going to sit back here discussing all this? Or are we going to Ajunko Shirai to see him? What does she mean by calabash of oath? What oath? Why was it broken? All oh, this is confusing. Ajunko called that the vulture, which cannot kill what she eats. And the lizard that loves a crack house. Now Abonwa speaks of a broken calabash of oath. Of whom I call it. As the Moses Yagan, yes, dear me, I'm a man, Major Missibutagan, I do. I can walk your mother because I will see. Okay, Tala, Gombatala, Gomatariva, good Jamie, and not the Anambata. I'm a camion and the Maduboni, Belly, Benan, and the more. Hi. If I speak to you in parable and explain it, then the dowry paid on the heads of your mothers are useless. Go back to your hearts and allow the gods of Umuakale to do their work. Leave before I lay indelible curse on you. Ndalio Ndalio Rabu no deli ni bana da maka ndali bana de muaja fi vezo lezo ana de muaja fi vezo lezo maka no wono ka sa lo si alu si wono ka menu ya nya o woni vede ku ne melo bu obu di akoku edeke isele bu ogidi ne bu ogidi melaka na de bu ogidi bu ogidi ogidi anyi ku onu o wono ka be pia yo onu Okay, Tala, Gomara, Tala, Goma, Kariva, Go, Jemi, Le, No, Di, Anambaka, O, Kuko, Bena, Ngige, Mo, Kuko, Negu, Ngige, Negu. You look worried, my daughter. What is it? No. 
I took the king's wife to see Abongwa. Mm -hmm. What she said baffled me. What did Abongwa say? Nam, what do you know about the calabash of oath? Calabash of oath. The only calabash of oath I know of is the secret that belongs to the royal family. And this secret is passed from generation to generation. What did she say that happened to it? Just as the water splashes on the earth, so are the children scattered on the air as soon as the calabash of oath was broken. Was broken. <laughs> Did she say much broke the calabash of oat? No, ma'am. But that was her exact word. But, uh, Papa, the, the word broken, that can only mean one thing. Maybe the queen might have broken the calabash. I suspect so, too. Uh, don't worry, my daughter. I will look into it and find you the answer you seek. Right? Okay. Eat. Mm. you by the gods to give ear to my plea and to hearken to the tears in my voice please get up my queen arise lay bare your thoughts because I am the king of this kingdom my heart aches to run towards it. What is it, my baby? The elders are right. I am cursed. I cannot bear you a child that will carry your name to the next generation. My love, please. I need you to marry another woman. 
I saw when I was that can give you a child that was so steady and Speak easy. no more, woman. You will never share me with another woman. Never. Ever. My love, my heart, please do this for me. If you truly love me, just do it for me, please. Please, I beg of you, please. Off to the palace. To the palace? Yes, ma'am. Okay, go away, my daughter. Okay. But always keep ear to the ground. Okay, now. While I look into what you told me last night. Okay? Okay, now. All right, I'll be on my way now. Okay. All right.
Ahorungi nanya Agangi malungwa nyoso Unye mo Nani ngibi zinu no were Love mo Otobu no sinabi Muna gigibi sent for me. Yes. Mujide. Your Highness. I need you to do me a favor. Why are you so sad? <laughs> the queen asked me to lay with the king and let him plant his seed in me. I know about that, but do not do it. You need to see the queen beg me with tears, asking me to do it and give the royal family a child that will carry their name to the next generation. Don't be deceived by the tears of the queen. I want to help the queen. I want to help her and his highness. They do not deserve to suffer like this. I said, do not do it. Your Majesty, the elders of this kingdom came to the shrine a few days ago and laid a complaint against you before the gods of this land. Osebolowa, the god of creation. Amadioha, the god of peace. Obolo, the goddess of fertility and procreation. Andane, the ancient deity of the earth. And what did you tell them? I did not give in to their demand. Good. I told them to go back to their huts. But after consulting the gods, Obolo, the goddess of fertility and procreation, gave in to their demand. Though I have not told them, I decided to come and see you first. King Akuna. If I had a care born, I did. My canoe would be a little bit of a little You have to take a second wife. <laughs> Not just to protect the lineage of your late father, but to keep the throne of your ancestors. Even the gods, they know it that I will never. Never leave Machi. Not even for this throne. No. My heart, please don't say that. Please. Ajonko is right. You need to take another wife. Please. Silence, woman. No one seeks your opinion here. You. King Akuna. Akuna. Why are you being stubborn and obstinate about this? Why are you blindfolded and acting foolishly as if you never knew? My God! I still remain the king of this land. You must accord me due respect for the insults by kneeling down to apologize. Else, 
I'll order the guards to behead you and burn down your shrine to ashes. Feed your flesh to the birds of the air. Your Majesty, you ask the eye of the gods to apologize. Gods! Your Highness! Your Highness! Behead him! Igwe, 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 Igwe! Please, 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 please. I am sorry. I am sorry for my insolence. I am sorry for my unguided words. Forgive me. Please. You go to Obolo and the other gods. Tell them I will never leave magic. But nothing, not even this throne. Now leave. Thank you, my king. Thank you. It's your highness. Threaten me. You dare make mockery of me. Ekwe 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 no te ekwe le. Makano onye julo gugu ga ngulu do. Makana agwe mi rivo jibola agwe uma ke wele ya kwan. You were here for me. Ajunku, why are you angry because of the truth I could not told you? Are you not supposed to be the spiritual custodian of this kingdom? Why are you playing the politics of mortals? We are four gods that govern this land. Why are you taking action based on the decree of one? Oburu has a right. To give in because a part was made with her and that part must be fulfilled. But Amadioha is against it because Masnachi is as pure as early morning riverbed. There is nothing contaminating in her. And it doesn't date it frowns at it, at it because many lives will be sent to the after, after life due to your carelessness today.
my king. If you're here to say a word of what Ajunku said, then you forget it. Because I've made up my mind and I won't change it. My love, this is your family posterity. Your ancestral name is on the verge of being cut off from the face of this earth. Ajunku is right. Yes. I am a cursed woman. I cannot bear you a child. Please, my love. Please, I beg of you. You need to get another woman. You need another woman that will bear you a child. Please. Please, my love, reconsider your decision. I beg you in the name of the gods. Please. Please, my love, do this for me, please. Do not ask me that which will bring dishonor to my father's name. I cannot do what you ask of me. What will I tell my father if I eventually conceive? Who will I tell him is the father of the child? Jide. Your Highness. The king regards you a lot. And that is why I chose you. Please, my dear. Please, I beg you in God's name, do not turn me down, please, I beg you, please, please. Your Highness, I cannot do it. Please. Your Highness, please stand up, please, I'm begging you. If you want me to stand up then. Wipe away my tears. Please, Njidi, I beg you. Do this for me.
Jide. Wake up, Jide. What are you doing in my, in my chamber? Jide, wake up. What are you doing in my chamber? I pray your intervention. I pray thee to come. O Sabaloa, Amadio, Obolo Andane, the ancient deity of the earth, I summon you. Come, come and avert this impending doom. O Sabaloa, the God of creation, Amadio. The God of thunder and light, Iganga, the God of creativity, Obolo, the goddess of fertility and procreation, Ame, 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 the ancient deity of peace and the earth. I summon you. I summon you. Come and interfere. Come and avert this impending danger. For the changing colors of the chameleon, I can no longer understand. Come. 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 Have mercy. Have mercy on your people. Yeah. Yeah. Come and intervene. Come and intervene. Gods of my ancestors. Iyo, 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 Ndali Ndali 
Angie, what happened last night? What in the name of the gods happened last night, Njide? You are better start talking now if I lose the guts on you. Your Highness. What happened? Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. Please pardon her. She was only obeying my order. Your order in my chamber? I'm sorry, Your Highness. that calls the rain to fall should not be afraid of the thunderstorm that comes with it. Amaka miye na nyande mado Boni believe na nyande mwa Did you walk through this path? I don't know. He didn't come through this path. He didn't. But I saw him come. Today I warned you. I warned you not to give in to the queen's deceitful tears. Now look at the shame you have brought upon yourself. How do you think the people of this kingdom will now look at you? Chiduto, I don't care. They may think of me whatever they like, I don't care! <laughs> <laughs> My fellow elders, what do you know about the royal calabash of old? The only thing I know about the royal calabash is that it is the secret of royal protection. I know that. But what I'm asking is if this royal calabash of wood has been broken or not. Broken? That can never be possible. If so, why hasn't Akona been able to plant his seed in Machi's womb? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 I don't think the royal calabash of wood has any part to play in Queen's childlessness. Mm -hmm. I believe so, too. I believe so, too. The gods, in their wisdom, cause the queen so that she cannot bear a child for the king. Okay, uh, Um, I see, don't see anything wrong in our finding out if this calabash of oath is broken or whatever condition it is now. Huh? Okay, so. <laughs> for some time now, I have not seen Mujidek and this palace. Do you know what happened to her? Why has she not been coming to the palace? I'm sorry, Your Highness. Though I checked on her this morning, it happened to be that she's having fever. So sorry. 
Uh, you didn't occur to you f to tell me. <sighs> Your Highness, I'm so sorry once again. Just that I wouldn't want to bother you with little issues like this. So sorry. Little issue, you say? I'm sorry, Your Highness. Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings, Ndubisi. What of your sister? She's resting inside, Your Highness. Should I call her? Yes, please. Fetch her for me. All right, Your Highness. Has any physician attended to you? My, my father went to bring one for me. <coughs> <coughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I made my, my queen worry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Dress up and come with me. The palace physician will attend to you. My queen, there. Yeah, yeah, we'll... Help her dress up. Just tell her I'm pregnant. That's all. Thank you.
She has a child in her womb. I want you to keep this a secret. Is the engine there? She is no longer here, Papa. Where did she go in that her condition? Papa, the queen came and took her to the palace. She will now be attended by the royal physician. Ah, yes, Papa. That is good. Has it been long she left for the palace? Immediately left, Papa. Ah, okay. Uh, my friend, uh, you have had the situation now. She is no longer here. Hmm? Yes. Okay. It's all right. I'm. I'm gonna be going there. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. Uh, go well. Let the gods lead you. So, Baba. I brought him to hear her. You took it too. brings you here. Greetings, Your Highness. Oh. Nchide? Your Highness. I heard you were sick. Yes, Your Highness. How are you feeling now? I'm sorry I made my king worry. But I'm getting better now, Your Highness. No, that's good. That's good. That's a good feeling. Mm -hmm. She's with a child. Oh. Your child. Your Highness. What child? Your Highness. Your seed is growing inside her womb. How could you do this to me? How? how? How could you act so carelessly and made me sleep with a maiden and put her in a family way? I'm so sorry, Your Highness. I did it to protect your family name and the throne of your father's. Shut up! And stop making stupid excuses. You don't have to be angry, Your Highness. Because the deed has been done. She bears your seed in her womb. And that seed will never be mine. I will never take responsibility of that bastard. Listen, you and Njide can go ahead and take responsibility of the child. But for me, never would that child answer my name. Never ever. Your 
Highness. Your Highness! You went to the palace for treatment. <laughs> you are crying. <laughs> Mom! Mom! What is it? Mom is injured. I don't know what is wrong with her. She's crying. Marichan, what happened? I thought you went to the palace for treatment. Huh? Huh? Why are you crying? Talk to your father. What happened? Papa. Please forgive me, I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. You confuse me. Forgive you for what? <laughs> I brought shame to your name and dishonor to your right. You are still confusing me. What exactly happened? <laughs> I'm with a child. <laughs> was what happened. The palace physician said I'm carrying the king's seed in my womb. Ah. <laughs> huh? That is good. That is good. Huh? May the gods be praised. Huh? You are carrying the king's seed in your womb. Oh. Huh? Don't stop crying. Stop crying. You are now the most important maiden. In this Umakali kingdom, you have made your father proud. <laughs> the 
King rejected the pregnancy. Eh? Yes. He said he would never accept the responsibility of this child. And that my child will never bear his name. I couldn't have said all this. I overheard him with the Queen. Ah, don't bother yourself, eh? Stop crying. Hmm? Um, you have made your father happy and proud. Forget about what the king said. Hmm? I greet you. Ibe. I hear you asked to see me. Yes, Your Highness. Ichel Doka here brought a complaint before the elders that you lay with his daughter Njide, planted a seed in, and when he told you about it. You deny responsibility of the child. So we the elders are here to know the truth, Your Highness. Well, I do not know what is true or not. And I don't care. But one thing I know by the gods is that I will not bear responsibility for that child in the Jirika swamp. Huh? I will not take responsibility. And your highness, why? Do I owe you any explanation? Listen, Deche. Machi and Ujitega played a game on me. So whatever it is that came out of that game, they had better bear the brunt. I will not bear responsibility. I will not. And let me sound it as a warning. Let it be the last time that this issue will be discussed in my palace again. When you're tired, you may leave. Why did you tell your father? Now look at what he's doing. He is my father and has every right to know I have the king's child in my womb. But this is supposed to be a secret between us and his highness. Secret, you say? Hmm? I am sorry, your highness. If you think I'm going to have this child for his highness and have you raise him for me, then you lie. Yes, you lie. I am going to become the king's wife if you and his highness want to see this child. Your Highness. I hope you have seen it. Can you see what your actions has brought to me? How your actions has brought disgrace, shame and insult on my person. Now the elders feel I'm stupid. They think I'm a fool. Because you couldn't think of the outcome of your actions before taking your actions. Look at you. You magic treating me as a fool just because I refused to take a second wife. You, my wife, Machi, treated me like a fool to the public clear. Bano. Very well then. I will marry her and bring her to the palace. Hence, that's what you want. No, Your Highness. This is... Keep quiet, woman! You brought this shame on yourself. 
So be it. By yourself, you will bear the brunt of your actions. Spoken with Indiche, and we all agree that if the king refused to take you as his bride, we will report him to the shrine of Ulodi. You must be the queen, the true queen of this kingdom, which we always wish to be. Huh? What is she doing here? Whatever she wants to do here. She must be prepared to fail. Greetings, the Queen of Omakale. Greetings, Mazudoka. Mm. What brings you to our heart this morning? Ujide, I have seen that I made a huge mistake coming to you for help. help. My husband, the king, will not take you as his bride. I brought this gift for you. And I came here will serve as your personal maid. Take the gift and leave Omakale Kingdom. That won't happen. She is with the king's child. Something you could not do for several seasons of being with the king. Just one night, she slept with the king. She is with the king's seed. No wonder Ajunko called you the vulture that wants to kill what she eats. Ichie! Choose your words wisely, else you will incur my wrath. And as for you, take the gifts and leave. You will return someday and your son will be made king after his father. That won't be necessary. Can you carry this and get out of this place? That won't be necessary. Because I and the elders have decided a date to take the king to the shrine of Ulodi to swear. You better come and take your gift. Because soon, Njide will own it all. What are you still doing here? Leave! I said leave this place! Are you still waiting? Leave here! Danjide has always been obsessed with the king. I warned her, but she wouldn't listen. Well, she has to bear the shame alone. Because I heard the king rejected the pregnancy. I know all that. His highness is madly in love with the queen. Oh, Ponjide. See where her greed has landed her. Your highness. It has been days since we came here because of Ichie Udoka's daughter's pregnancy. But up till now, you have done nothing about it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we the elders have decided to summon you to Ulodi 
to look into the matter. Yes, Isn't it so, my elder? Yes, yes, yes. That will not be necessary. I'll take her as my bride. Tell your king's men that I'm coming to see them. <laughs> that has any more thing? No, nothing. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Did I not tell you you must attend to me first? Every morning? I'm sorry, Your Highness. Shut up! And get your sorry self out of this place! Don't! What is the meaning of this nonsense? How dare you slap the maiden that is attending to me? And you, if you do not leave right now, I will hang your head at our Maple Square. Please let me go, Your Highness. Please. I beg you with the name of the gods. Leave! Get out! And you, Machi. You no longer have tell to wag in this palace. You're nothing other than a lizard. I will tell you I am the true queen of this kingdom. No one that says is a lion can go free. My queen! My queen! My queen! Yes, what is please. it? Please! My queen, please! Come and save her, she wants to kill her! Please do something! <laughs> Shut up! After I'm through with you, you and other medics and guys of this palace will like to attend to me alone because I'm a true queen in this palace. <laughs> Destruction. Do you want to kill her? Machi. Do you? You don't lay your cat hands on me! How dare you? How dare you lay your cat hands on me? I will pretend I didn't hear that. May it go to your heart and let the healer attend to you. Okay. Guards! Take her to the healer. <laughs> Machi, you should learn to know where you belong in this palace. to involve me in your stress with with, with with your mate. I don't understand what you want from me. This is what you brought upon yourself. She now sees you as equal. So that's why she slapped you. He who gathers an ant infested firewood is only inviting the lizard for a feast. Your Highness. Is that all you can say? That is all you can say to me? I am now the cause because all I wanted is what is best for you and your lineage. 
what is best for me and my lineage is you. Why did you slap Machi? I'm asking you why did you slap her?
Your Highness, please, can you stop shouting at me? The shouting is not good for your son and my health. Which son? What nonsense! Let me make it clear to you. Despite your mischief in this palace, that thing you call a child or a son will never answer my name. I never wanted it. And I will never want it. I don't even want you. Match is the only woman that can satisfy me. <laughs> Match is my wife. Animal. Beastly. Oh God, Savannah. Now that your sister is the queen, soon she will bring in better things into this house. Hmm? Mm -hmm. My daughter. Is there a highness? Where is the healer? Oh, my queen, you went to get the herbs. You'll soon be here. Okay. Please make sure she takes the herbs that the healer will give to her. Has a kind heart. <sighs> Indeed, she has a kind heart. But I still wonder why the gods has refused to bless her with a child. Yet they decide to give it to that heartless soul called in Jide. <laughs> Shh. Mind your words. I wasn't even here, so I did not hear a thing. Oh. It's okay. What you said is the truth. We we'll just have to be careful because that girl is so heartless. Look at the way she treated her. Thanks! Hmm? Hey. So hey. You mean I couldn't have looked you in the eyes and said all that? Because you were exercising your right as the true queen you are. I'm a lion, but my heart bleeds. <sighs> Let me wallow in my sorrows, which the gods have afflicted me with. I am sorry how I spoke to you the last time. 
I made a great mistake. I should have protected you. You don't have to be. You don't have to be sorry, Your Highness. You are the king of this kingdom. You can do anyhow and anything you want to do. No. No, please, my queen. I beg of you. I hurt each time I see you this way. I hurt each time you hurt too. I'm sorry, my love. Please stop hurting. I have cautioned him today. I told her where she belonged in the palace and where she belongs in my heart. Only you match him. Only you in my heart. And only you worthy to be called my wife. None other. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, okay? You're my princess. You're my queen. And that you remain. I love you too. I love you too. I love you too. I love you I What is it? Olako. Hmm? I think it is you who the BC is waiting for there. Shh. My mother awaits my return. Plus, I don't want to listen to this fool talk. So please let's take another route. Please. Okay. Olako, wait, Olako! Olako! from the stream and um, Ndubisi was chasing us then she fell and her water pot got broken. Ndubisi again? Yes mama! She yes, called me Ndubisi! You broke my water pot! Uzo! Dalo, you've done well. Okay. Um, hey. Mama has to go and start going. My mother will be waiting for me. Okay. Hey! Ndubisi, I'm gone! Ndubisi, I'm the girl go, I cannot do! Ndubisi, I'm Gum. Hey! No! Enough of him! My daughter! Let's go! Let him face me! Let's go! Yes, mama. Let's go! Where are you looking me? Where are you, Agafu? Where are you, Ndubisi? Because straight ahead coach that cannot control that which is in between his towns! Where are you? Come out! Come out and face me! Come out and face me, okay? Woman, if I were you, I would choose my words wisely. I can never be, never like the vulture who does not have a right of choice 
but to eat anything that is already dead. Oh, Let me alone. Let me talk to her. Let me handle her. Oh, do you think because you accidentally became queen, you now have the power to shut me up? Hi. Go in there and bring out that test he got of your brother, who cannot let my daughter rest. You have insulted me enough. Soon, I will rain down the venom of my wrath on your household. Ah, Look at you, Lele. Lele. Look at her. Say one place. Look at, look at. Look at you, Lele, Lele, Lele. The butterfly that thinks herself a bird. <laughs> eh? Look at her. Mm. Look at her. Hi. I will slap you now. You are getting me. Oh, get her. Iburum, Wogi. It is me and you today. Why you say? Ah! Mama, please! Mama, daddy! Mama, daddy! make it clear to you, despite your mischief in this palace, that thing you call a child or a son would never answer my name. I never wanted it. And I will never want it. I don't even want you. Much is the only woman that can satisfy me.
were you? I will choose my words wisely. I can never be! Never like the vulture who does not have a right of choice but to eat anything that is already dead. Oh, Let me alone. Let me talk to her. Let me handle her. Oh! Do you think because you accidentally became queen, you now have the power to shut me up? Hi! Go in there and bring out that press he got of your brother who cannot let my daughter rest. You have insulted me enough. Soon! I will rain down the venom of my wrath on your household! Ah, Petrigono! Look at you, Lele! Lele! Look at her! Say one place! Look at! Look at! Look at you, Lele! 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 The butterfly that thinks herself a bird! Dako <laughs> We are from Mount Kele Mount Nami Nugu. Madi Kebo Made Buru Yu. Mikenga Bo Made Buru Yu. Pimaki Kenga Bo Dugu. Mikengo Dugu. You cannot have him. His love for her is pure. Their hearts are entwined at the ocean of four gods. He is hers, and she is his. Daughter of Fudoka, why do you choose to separate what the nature has chosen and rejoice with? She was not supposed to belong to him. But me, I first loved him. I gave him my heart. He was meant for me. But that cost made him, took him away from me. <laughs> Honestly, I am confused. And if I am confused, the spirits are as well. How did she steal him away from you? my friends the girls really gifted you with a gift of music and I believe they will be glad to hear you play the flute was I that good yes my friends I know I do not know how to flatter and I cannot do that my friends thank you you know you have a way of making me happy you know um, what will you be doing later today? Nothing exactly. Uh, just the usual work. Do you want me to help you do something, my prince? Um, nothing really. Uh, I was going to invite you to come with me to a walk. I'll be going around the kingdom today. I'll gladly do so, my friends. Okay. Uh, okay then. Now, why don't you go get ready? Okay, my friends. <laughs>
Jide, can you hear the voice? A melodious voice. It sounds like the gods. Uh, my prince, it's my be spirit. There are stories of spirits going about the land, giving bad luck to whoever that says it. Well, if a spirit with such a beautiful voice has bad luck to share, <laughs> I'll be so glad to share in her bad luck. Come, let's go see it. My prince, let's go. Come, 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 just come, just come with me. Let's go. That the gentle breeze of Amaususu River will be jealous of your voice. I'm sorry to start to you, my fair lady. G greetings, my prince. Greetings. My prince, how, what, uh, what, what are you doing in the bush? I was walking around the kingdom and I had a voice singing so melodiously, more melodious and the birds in the sky. Then I decided to find out who the voice is. And it is a fair lady from my kingdom. Thank you, my prince. What's your name? Which clan are you from? And what's your father's name? I am from Ibeko clan, my prince. My name is Machi, Masinachi. I am the daughter of Late Ichie Okorie Amade. Son. Oh, Father, you seem happy today. What is the secret of your happiness? <clears throat> uh, uh, I'm just happy because of the beautiful nature that the gods has blessed us with. So, what brings you here, Father? A man whose house is on fire does not go to sleep until he puts out the fire. I've been so busy preparing the two maiden that I want to present to you so that you can choose your bride from them. Father, I told you not to worry about these things. Soon I will bring you a maiden that I'll call my bride. Just give me a little time. That's what you have been saying. You've been saying this all the time. Many months have passed, yet you've not brought the maiden. Akuna, prepare yourself. They will be coming in the next Afro market. Greetings, royal guards of our land. Greetings to you. 
His Highness, Prince Akonuna, request for your present immediately at the palace. I'm sorry, but I cannot come with you immediately. Tell the prince that I will see him later, because I'm on an errand for my father. But you will honor his invitation before the sunset reaches the top. By my honor, I will. We will tell him what you said. Uh, I'm sorry. The prince just left the palace for a brief uh, errand. The king sent me. Oh. Why did he drag me out of my father's compound like this? I thought. Hi. My prince. Machi. You came? Yes. And I was so by you there here that you left the palace on an errand for the king. Oh. And you didn't know I never left the palace. Um, now that you're here, I'm going nowhere. So come on. Won't the king be angry? You ask too many questions. Come on. Where are you taking me to? A quiet place where I can listen to your beautiful voice. Not have him. Tell me, Chiluto, am I not beautiful enough to be the prince's bride? By the gods, you are endowed with enough beauty to win any man's heart. So, why am I not the one that appeals the prince's heart? Why the maiden from Ibeko clan? I feel so betrayed by the prince. I warn you for the last time. Forget the prince. You cannot have him. Father. Son. This is the maiden that appeals to my heart. And I wish to make her my bride with your permission. Honestly, I must confess, she is good and endowed with the beauties of the gods. In fact, she is the embodiment of beauty. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you, Your Highness. Um, my daughter, who is your father? 
And are you from which clan? Your Majesty, I am the daughter of late Ichie Okori Amade from Ibeko clan. Did you say you are the daughter of uh, late Okori Amade? Yes. Ibeko clan? Yes, Your Majesty. Hmm. It's only a tree that hears it will be cut down and stands. I'm sorry, son. This union will not hold. You must end it straight away. Why, father? When a thought is wants to embark on a journey, it does not ask anyone which way to follow. Do not ask me why. You must end this union right away. It cannot hold. It can't. Let's go. Let's go. Hmm. Prince, your food is ready. Oh, leave the food for now. My prince, what troubles you? Njide, I'd like to be left alone. I'll come to the food later. But my prince, you can always talk to me. You, please leave. Majesty, I hope the gods were kind to you last night. Yes, they were. Where is my son? Your Majesty, I'm not sure if he's inside. I've been knocking for a while, but no response. Akona, Mwana Wibi, Afonetia, or are you waiting on the Benajofia? Listen to me, both of you, and listen very attentively. Because my father told me when he was alive that the mouth cannot feed without the consent of the hand. Both of you are royal guards of this palace. So where is the prince? Where is my son? Where is him? My king, we saw him leaving this morning and he wanted to follow. He asked us not to. You mean the prince? Or dragged you back? Yes, my king. And left the palace all alone? Yes, my king. Well, I said, I want to go to Gujie Giordo. And I'll be on a good time. It's all your mistakes. You must go and find the prince. And do not return here without him. As I have said, so shall it be done. Yes, my king. Yes. 
idiots! Fools! My father sent you to fetch me? Yes, my prince. He asked us not to return to the palace without you. Yes. My lord, please, you have to go with them. I don't want the king to punish you because of me. No. I promise to take you to the stream and bring you back home. That I must do. If they don't want to be punished, then they must walk with us. You, take this. Fill it with water and bring it for my maiden. Yes, my friend. And you, go into the bush. Fetch enough firewood for my maiden. Okay? I'll go. Come back. My love, I want to make the king to see how much I love you and to know that I want to spend the rest of my life with you. That's why I do what I do. I love. Last night I prayed to the gods to make the king accept me as his own daughter. I know the gods are attentive. I believe they heard you. And they will answer you. <laughs> you see... Ah. Where did you find him? He begs clown, man, your majesty. So I've stopped warning you to stay away from that maiden of Ibeg. You defy my order and still go back to her. Akuna, so you have grown wings to cross my order. Akuna, you have grown wings! Father, I have never disobeyed you in any way before now. But I'm sorry I will now. I love Machi. And I can never stay away from her. That's the woman I want to be with. Silence! Silence I said, you fool! Nobody will make me stay away from me. I said silence, you naked fool! Silence before I let loose of my fury on you! Gas! Make sure he does not leave this palace, no matter the situation. If he goes, I shall be heard all of you. It's your majesty. You can cage me, or you can never cage my affection for her. What am I going to do to you, my brother? Am I going to get the baby with you? No sense. It's not as if I'm trying to cross my boundary as a servant in this palace. But may it be kind if I talk to you? Njide. Your Highness. Have you ever been in love? Yes, Your Highness. Do you love her, my prince? Yes. I've never felt what I feel for her since we met. But why is the girl trying to separate us? Maybe she's not meant for you. The girls may have put in the hatred in your father's heart for you to see that love is somewhere waiting for you. Uh, even in this palace. I can never love another. My heart and soul is so that to her. 
your highness. Look deep. You may find that which you seek is somewhere waiting for you. So miss you. Please, my love, just give me a little more time. And I'll be in your arms. And I'll be in your arms. And I'll be in your arms. Uh, please uh, be patient. They are bringing color. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the normal thing. We must break cola nuts. Yes. <laughs> Very important. Yeah, you get your paper. Very important. Your uh Highness. -huh. Uh, uh, my prince. You sent for me. Yes, I sent for you. That's the beautiful maiden I brought for you. Uh, looking at her, she's very groomed, very beautiful. Uh, that's why I asked her father uh, to, you know, <laughs> in fact, I took her time to... <laughs> your Majesty, if all you're trying to say is that I should marry this lady here... Of course. Uh, you're wrong. What? I will never marry another woman apart from Machi. You can give her to Ago. You're one of the guards here. I'm not interested, though. Akonna. Listen to me very well. What an elder sees while sitting down, a child will never see it, even if he or she climbs Iroko tree. Oh, yes. Akuna, you can't keep rejecting all the beautiful maidens that I took time to find for you. You cannot be doing that. Father, is it not obvious? Have I not made it clear? I don't want any other woman apart from Machi. I will never, I will never ever marry another woman except Machi. Let me marry her and I'll be happy. You give me peace, I'll make you happy too. I promise you. Your Highness, please, who is that in Machi? Machi is Okori Amade's daughter. God forbid. My prince, are you intending to marry a wife from the family of a man whose wife killed in broad daylight? In broad daylight! My prince, reconsider your decision, my, my prince. Akuna. Akuna. Ichi, guru guru ana ago pata no ni ago kati ya mokura harapi o ni amabu. Because everyone in Kumwa Kone, Kingdom, knows that Okori Amadi's family is caused with violence. Oh yes, such family is Wemi son, the prince, the heir apparent to the throne of Kumwa Kone Kingdom, is planning to take a woman as a wife. Leave my lips! It will never happen! Oh, it will not happen! Not even over my dead body! Come you talk about the make and trouble here, you're going to put out sir. Obsession for the prince is becoming so obvious. Be careful. You may think of me what you want, but just like the lizard, I will never stop nodding my head till the king and the prince notices me.
Listen, you fools. If I don't see my son, if I don't find him, I will sacrifice all of you to Amadio. You all are right. That this will not be necessary. Father, that will not be necessary. Dad! Your Highness. Take this trusting away from my presence. If any of you dare, I will send you to your early grave. Father, so you sent your habinjas of death after Machi. That was wrong. I did what? You can deny all you care. But I know what you did. Listen, Father. She is going to be staying in this palace with me from now onwards. Let me see how your assassination attempt will work on her. Let me see you throw her out. That's a what? Father. Immediately, the king fell sick. That cost maiden stole the prince from me. What do you want from Itu of Adiofia? The Ogidigidi of Oweri to do for you. You're asking for the king to love you. Forget it. His heart only belongs to Machi. And nothing. Nobody can make him love another, not even I. Then put him under my control. Yes, I want to owe him and everything he has. I don't want to be the vulture that could not eat what she kills, nor the lizard that not at the beautiful house. I want to own the house. In fact, I want to become the ruler of Omakoli Kingdom. <laughs> that I will do. But it requires a piece of your hair. Have you gone to see the maiden that was brutally beaten by Njide? No, I, I actually intend to see her later this evening. I hope she's feeling better now. She is, but you still need to see her. Oh, people in Africa, we read the Amun Neara. I look for the friend here, friend with Chichi. Oh, yes, I go over here again. Or go on the room. Hm? I think I did run the lady. The teacher of Idea Fair, Finani, I go look and hear the latter to Yawangiga. Or go on the case, Yam with it. I thought to the Yawangiga. Macana, John Cap, but an idea of Fair, Eddie with it. He came down. He came down, not an. He came down, not an. You can't get out of the <laughs> it is done. The sun rises at a place, and the shadows of the sun goes round the whole world. So shall your glory be in that kingdom. You shall reign in supremacy. <laughs> now you can go. Thank you. It's a far job. Itsu of Ajofia. Thank you very much. 
I shall return with my sacrifice. You can go. He can go. He can go, Nathan. made of Ipeku clan. How did you get into my palace? God! Highness. Take that away! Akunda, are you alright? Hey, you with care? Call my name? Are you alright? You call my name with your cursed mouth! What has come over you? Your people are cursed! Ipeku clan, they are known for curse! My love, my heart, my queen. Shut up! Clean my foot, you are dead. Where is the Machi? She's in the palace cell, locked up. Good, take me to her. From me, but today <laughs> the girls has put him under my control. My lady, do I behead her for daring to call me her husband? No, oh, my husband. No, I want her to be my slave, serve in my palace, and become the vulture she was meant to be. Yes, my lady. I am going to rule this land, not just as a queen, but as a king itself. <laughs> Enjoy yourself in this dungeon. And today you and your generations will be ridiculed as you have ridiculed the gods. The earth shall reject you and the waters shall be a pain to you. And today you will suffer. Today you will suffer!
Go this way and kneel down. I said, go this way and kneel down. God, you heard me. And you, tell other maidens and guards of this palace that Machi is now one of you. In fact, she is the lowest of you all and must be treated like one. No one should ever call her the queen. And if anyone tries it, if anybody tries that, he or she will lose his life. Did I make myself clear? Yeah, yes, Your Highness. Did you understand me? Yes, Your Highness. My love. Your Highness. Please. Do something. You, you can't allow her to treat me like Shut that. Shut up! Please. Keep quiet. <laughs> you better choose to serve me and leave. Or refuse and die. The choice is yours. Let go. Call me. Stop crying, Your Highness. I know it seems that the gods have turned their back on you. But you have to be strong and survive so that you can take back what belongs to you. How can I survive? How can I survive when the gods have taken everything from me and made me an object of ridicule? How can I survive? I know it seems so. But if the eight one without legs can survive during the rainy season, then you, my queen, will surely survive. Please calm down. <laughs> to call me by my name. Hmm? Is that right? You looked me in the eyes and called me a vulture that eats carcass. <laughs> Woman, today, I will show you that I'm the power that rules this kingdom. Come with me. And you, 
sell and you sleep. Mama! 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 I do not want to sell you. You have to go. Leave Mwakoli and never return. You mean you spare me? Yes. May the gods help you to find a better life anywhere you are. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sorry about the death of your mother. Now go. Go. Thank you. May the gods of this land bless you. Thirty pieces of calories. Thirty pieces of calories. Yes, Your Highness. You think I didn't see you set her free? Please help him. Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. Please help him. He's dying. Please. Please. Please help him. Please help him. He's dying. Please. Please help him. Your Highness. Madonna, eh, Fango. Oh, 
oyo to wa gada me irogu abu ba ga wu so kiri ren ko ma ro irogu ye bu to wa gada me irogu wa pa ni ame kere ko to wa ro godo miri buru obu ro godo ya buru gwa gwa na gwa ngwe ji e mi nganga eh o kere to to jo ye mere ni ye mere ni e me po ya ma ko ku ko be na ngige bo ku ko na egu ngige na egu Are you going to deny me access into the palace? <laughs> you are allowed to come to my palace only when you're being summoned. Until then, I don't want to see you close to my palace. Go back to your shrine where you belong. Your palace? Yes, my palace. <laughs> Where is the king? Didn't you hear me? Or do you want me to repeat myself? Hmm? Oh! You want me to call the guards to behead you? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Cannot happen. If they cannot bring this kind of shame to my name, oh, I must go and see her. And where do you think you're going to? Hmm? Your Highness, please. I want to see the king. Please, I beg you with anything you hold sacred to. Allow me see the king, please. I beg you, please. You can't see him. Huh? Please, Your Highness. I said you can't see him! Your Highness, your father wants to see you immediately. I don't want your kiss, man. I don't want your kiss, delay. I don't want your kiss, delay. They go deep in the melody. Your Highness, my love, I know you are still in there. Please wake up. Wake up and save this kingdom because it's about to be ruined. Remember, you promised to protect me forever. Please, my love. Look at me now. Please wake up. You are my strength. Please come to my rescue. Please, I beg of you. Just, just wake up and see this kingdom, please. I don't want you to go, Mama.
father. What are you doing here? Oh, my little chan. And then the veg Um, I want to talk to you about your decision of becoming the supreme ruler of this kingdom. This has never happened before. Please, whatever might have happened to the king, if he is dead, release the offer to Ezemo so that the gods can choose another man and to rule over this kingdom. Father, you have just insulted me. Hey. Yes, but you've forgotten that you told me that someday everyone that laughed at me will someday fall under my feet. Yes, I know that I say so. But that will be when you might have given the king an heir to the throne, not you taking over the throne. My daughter, stop this madness and save your father's honor. With what face do you want me to face my mates? Father, I am disappointed at you. I thought you were supposed to be proud of me. But here you are, condemning me. My daughter, there is nothing to be proud of in this matter. Nothing. Please. Please, you should know that... Silence! I do not want to see you in my palace again. Huh? Leave before I throw you out. Do not let pride destroy you and this kingdom. God! daughter, daughter of Usube, the son of Echidine, 
offspring of Ami, the ancient deity of the earth, fathered by a mortal and nurtured in immortality, the supreme being of truthfulness and sincerity. I greet you. Greetings, Ajunku the Great. Speak. Great one, what is bigger than the cricket has entered the cricket's hole. This kingdom is in trouble. We need your help to salvage this kingdom from this danger and disaster. What do the gods require of me? You are the offspring of the gods. Supreme being of truth and sincerity. Oh, you see the gods more than I see. And you hear from the gods more than I hear. Let Ami. Let Ami, the ancient deity of the earth, salvage this kingdom. <laughs> You have a message from the gods. What did they say? This kingdom and the life of His Highness are on the brink of destruction and it is only you who can save them. Ha. How do I do that? I can't even leave this palace. The guards are everywhere. How do I do it? That has been taken care of. You can go now. I can go. There are no guards. Nobody stopping me. Go, and nobody will see you. As soon as I was told. Your Majesty, this kingdom and the man you love are about to be destroyed. May the gods forbid. It is not your fault. Everything is happening because of my carelessness. Oh, I should have waited on the gods. I should have waited for the gods to speak, but no. I acted in my own wisdom by advising you to seek help from Unjideka. I am sorry. Forgive me, your majesty. It's okay, wise one. I have forgiven you already. Please, what do I have to do to save Akonna? Have you heard of the calabash of oath? Good 
visit. If the king meets another maiden, she will conceive. That goes for you, my daughter. If you live with another man, you will also conceive. Just as the water splashes on the earth, so as Akuna said, scattered when the calabash of oats was broken. Where is one? What calabash? Leave us. Make hurry and leave the king. Or make him take another pride. Nothing will ever make you bear a child, Fakuna. No. No. Why me? Why would the gods of my chi treat me like this to the man that I love? Why? You may now go, my daughter. I'm not going anywhere, wise one. Answer me! What have I done? What did I do to deserve this? Answer me! You may go! Go! Yes. Yes, wise one, I've heard about it. But what does that have to do with all this? I am sorry. That is the cause of everything. In this kingdom, the calabash of oath is the secret of fruitfulness and protection which the gods have solemnly given to the royal household. As long as the calabash of oath remains in the royal household, the king has assurance of producing an heir. And most importantly, he is protected from all negative charms. But it is a pity. Oh, it is pathetic. The calabash of oath has been broken. Broken? How? By whom? Witness my king. king. Where is my son? He has gone out, my king. What? He has gone to see that cost maiden. Yes, my king. What a bunny and Nayeno. When a child throws his father up, blindness becomes the other of the day. Akonna! Since you have failed to listen to your father, may the God push you into taking another maiden. Much I reject you, and as I reject you, so shall the gods and the earth also reject you. By breaking the calabash of wolves, the late king severed the ties between the gods and the royal household and the gods. 
the gods killed him instantly. And then Judeka. Judeka in her quest to have King Akuna went to Itu, the dark witch doctor that lives in the forest of Adolfia for powers. And he empowered her. He gave her powers to control her desires and subject the king to her whims. Your Majesty, it is only the power of the calabash of oath that can save the king and this kingdom. Wise one, please, how do I get the calabash? <laughs> the calabash of oath can only be conjured at the river of the four gods in the forest of the four gods. The forest of the four gods? Yes. And it is only a maiden. Only a maiden with a pure heart that can go into the forest of the four gods, touch the calabash of earth, and leave. And that maiden is you. Your Majesty. My queen, the gods has certified you pure and blemished. Oh, you are a woman with a pure heart. You love unconditionally even when you are wronged. You and only you can save this kingdom. Go to the forest of the gods. Get the calabash of oath and save your husband and this kingdom. Save this kingdom. Save this kingdom. Save this kingdom. No! 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 Your Highness, Your Highness, we have searched everywhere for her, but she is nowhere to be found. Your Highness, we are convinced that she is not in this palace. You may go. Yes, Your Highness. As long as she's not back in this palace, she's free to leave. But any day she dares come back to my palace, I'll kill her myself.
The garden of this realm that leads to the river of the four gods. 
humans are not permitted to pass through the forest of the gods. Diseased and returned back to the land of the humans. Uzagaga, please. I cannot go back. The lives of my people depends on this journey. Please, Great One, grant me passage. I beg of you, please. You see, for a passage into the forest of the gods with nothing. You seek a passage into the forest of the gods. What do you bring? I love you. But you chose to love another. Even when all odds were against you. You refused. You insulted me on your father's name. Now where is she? Hmm? Where is she? Just few market days that you couldn't stand on your feet. She left you and ran away. She ran to save her life. Just to show you how selfish she is. Akuna, you will be my toy forever. Forever!
What brings you into the forest of the gods? Greetings, old wise mother. May the grey hairs on your head last longer than the gods have intended. Please, grant me passage to the river of the four gods with only a sacrifice. Come for the calabash of food? Yes, Your Majesty. 
please. I need the calabash. Please. I need to take it to Umakoli Kingdom. Else the kingdom will be doomed forever. Is it not the plan of the gods that you do not leave my son to marry another maiden? That will give him a son to carry my name to the next generation. Your Majesty, the gods sees and understands all. I do not come here to save myself, but to save the man that I love. I don't know why you hate me so much, Your Majesty, but please give me the calabash of old. Let me save the one that I love and let the gods take my life. For I have nothing to live for knowing that the one that I love and his people are about to die. Please, your majesty, please, please. Indeed, your heart is pure. I was wrong to judge you on the mistake of your mother. Forgive me. Amadioha and Ami rejected me for treating you bad. And they insisted that I must wait for you here to come for the calabash of oath so that I will seek for your forgiveness to enable me to join and rest with my fathers. I bear no grudges against you, Your Majesty. My King, I have forgiven you long ago. My king! Your majesty! to remove Ajonko as a spiritual custodian of this land yeah. and replace him with Itu of Ajofia. Oh. And I do not want to hear any mama. Else, I will behead you, you slept men. That will never happen. have remained where you were. Why did you come back? Why did you come back? Give me that. Please forgive me. Please. For 
what? I was not even pregnant. Abomination. I'll give you hundred carries. Hundred. Hundred carries. Yes. Would you want the money or you don't want it? Then I. Hundred carries. Just tell her I'm pregnant. That's all. Thank you. You promised to give me my money last market day. What happened? I'm sorry, I have it here. Let me give it to you. Ami, Aburu, 
and I'm on your heart. Come and heal this life. <laughs> 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 Long live my king! Long live the queen! Long live! I don't want your kiss 